So AI agents are taking over the world right now and if you're not paying attention, you're gonna be missing out on one of the biggest business opportunities. My name's Charlie and I've installed AI into hundreds of businesses and made around seven figures from it. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing everything you need to know about vertical AI agents. And to make this the easiest video ever to understand, I'm gonna break it down into five simple parts. Number one, I'm gonna explain what are vertical AI agents. Number two, why businesses actually need them. Number three, how to identify which AI agent to sell. Number four, how to build them for completely free and in the easiest way possible and then number five how to actually do a campaign to sell them and validate your offer and I promise this is a video you are not going to want to miss just make sure you watch all the parts and watch to the end of the video so you don't get confused and let's jump straight into it this is an A to Z vertical AI agent playbook this is going to be amazing you're going to absolutely love it so it's not about how hard you row it's about what boat you're in that is an amazing quote by Warren Buffett but chatbots and AI are literally going to replace 95% of customer service roles by 2026 and 400 million jobs by 2030 are going to be removed. Now, if you just log in for 10 minutes, you're going to learn more in this single video than you would anywhere else on YouTube, I guarantee it. So chapter one, what are AI vertical agents? Like what the hell are you talking about? So put very simply, it's software built on large language models. So think about Claude, Perplexity, OpenAI, and to be honest, there's only two you actually need to understand. So you have general AI agents. These are things that you would use every single day. So they're broad, they're adaptive, they're general. So think about Gemini, ChatGPT, OpenAI, and you would use these um, yeah, LLMs to essentially just ask questions and it's more for general use. Now, what we are going to be sp uh, specifically talking about in this video is vertical AI agents, which are designed specifically for certain industries and use cases. So solving very specific problems within markets. That is what we are going to be focusing on because yeah, you can make a ton of money with this and I'll explain how um, if you keep watching. So yeah, these AI agents are designed like think about an AI or a lawyer AI agent that can draft contracts in seconds or an AI e-com customer support assistant or an AI sales agent for local businesses or an AI qualifying chatbot for real estate. The list goes on and on. There are certain use cases and problems within markets that you can install AI into to solve it once and for all. Now, um, in terms of, yeah, just the main two types, to keep it very simply, just general AI agents and vertical AI agents um, are the main two. So you'd use this just for you know day-to-day -day stuff. And this is what we're going to be deploying into other people's businesses to solve specific problems. And that's how you make a lot of money. So chapter two, why businesses need them? Like you're probably wondering, cool, now you know what a vertical AI agent is. And you're probably thinking, cool, how does businesses need them? Like, what does it look like? So typically humans are lazy, right? So a vertical AI agent replaces manual repetitive work to handle customer outreach, lead generation, a promise setting, and even sales. So this is where you come in because you're essentially gonna replace what a job that could have been done by a human, but we're gonna obviously be installing AI vertical agents into it. So, um, and just make sure you sell the end results. So you're not selling a vertical AI agent, you're selling the fact that they're gonna cut employee costs, right, right? which will increase profits. You're gonna sell them on the fact that they're gonna, they're gonna have more freedom in their business because you can automate repetitive tasks. You can increase appointments, right? Because there's speed to lead that's instant, 24 seven. You know, people are getting responded back to, people are getting sold, and that is what we, you know, that's what you want to focus on in terms of selling. And for any B2B offer, right, recurring revenue, so for you to get paid each month requires rec a recurring value. Now, nobody will pay for a subscription that doesn't bring value to them each month. Or worse, people stop paying for subscriptions when the value is less than what they got last month. So the beautiful thing about this is if we look here, the old way to run a B2B offer was to run ads or do some form of direct response marketing for clients, whether it's organic traffic, whether it's SEO, whether it's pay-per-click ads, whatever it may be. And you probably have to check in on that campaign every day or at least once a week to see if it's working and just stuff like that. And then they probably churn after a couple of months. But when we install vertical AI agents one time, so you build it one time, you install it into their business, and then you let the software provide the recurring value. So you can get paid each month as it's an actual part of their business, which means that they're gonna stay for six to 12 months because it's insanely sticky, right? So think about that just compared to you running like ads or doing another form of, yeah, just a growth offer for clients. It just makes so much more sense to install something as a system one time that they use every single day in their business that allows you to exit from the fulfillment 
and actually still allow recurring value to bring yeah results to the client. Like when you think about it like this, it just makes sense for you to be providing this. And here's what Mark Zuckerberg has to say about it. There are hundreds of millions of small businesses in the world. And one of the things I think is really important is basically making it so with a relatively small amount of work, a business can basically, a few taps, stand up an AI agent for themselves that can do customer support, sales, communicate with all their people, uh, all their customers. I think that every business in the future, just like they have an email address and a website and a social media presence today, I think every business is going to have an AI agent that their customers can talk to in the future. He was saying that just like businesses have emails, domains, or websites, they're going to have AI agents. It's not going to be optional. It's like survival. Those that have it will win. Those that don't won't win. And we're living in a gold rush right now of AI. So you should use it to your advantage and leverage trends, both for you to get clients and yeah, for you to deliver. So chapter three, how do you actually identify which AI agent to sell? Like by now, you probably understand the difference between general AI agents, vertical AI agents. You understand why businesses need them um, for all of these yeah, reasons right here. You understand how you can provide recurring value without you doing anything besides selling it up one time. But now you're probably thinking, Charlie, that's great and all, but what do I sell? Like there's so many, there's customer support, there's nurturing, you know, and this is the beautiful part. So for someone to give you the sweet money that you desire, they must be most aware, meaning they must have been through these five stages of awareness. For those that know Eugene Schwartz, obviously he yeah made this pretty much, but let's just say someone has back pain, right? So if they're not aware, meaning a person doesn't know they have a problem or they don't know they have back pain in this case, obviously they're not going to buy, right? So they need to be problem aware, meaning they obviously, I'm talking about your prospects, your market needs to know that their back hurts. They need to be solution aware. So they need to understand that there's a solution out there to solve their back pain. They need to be product aware, meaning a person needs to know about your solution and then they need to be most aware. So this is when a person believes that your solution is the right fit to solve their back pain, right? But in this case, we're not solving back pain. We're solving the fact that they're spending too much on customer, co you know, on customers. You know, we're solving the fact that we're going to increase the appointment flow. We're going to increase the uh, amount of high intent, yeah, appointments they're going to have, qualified appointments, stuff like that. So um, if you're wondering how do you actually find the most common burning pain points in the market, what I've done is I've actually put a prompt in this Google document that I'll put in the description for free and you can leverage it straight away. So here's the prompt. Your job is to research the deepest burning pain points of insert niche. And the best part is we're going to use, or yeah, we're going to use AI to do the research for us, which is like insane. So it's going to use answer the public, Reddit and any other places. And it's going to browse through all of these, yeah, insights and what people are talking about as pain points in that specific niche because ChatGPT now has a search feature, obviously DeepSeek does. So yeah, it's it's cracked. Like it's um it's a bit of a hack, but like back in the day we used to have to give out like gift cards to get like insights into um market fit and everything like that. So you've got it on easy mode if you're watching this right now, because you can literally just get the biggest pain points from your niche within seconds using this prompt. So um you can even add to it. So once it gives you the pain points, you can then ask it like cool what offer should I be selling them? And you can go one step further, you can get it to build a one sentence offer, which is what you would present in an email because it would focus more on the end result. So like increasing their profit, stuff like that, which you'll get to if you keep watching. Um, but it's worth spending a good 20 minutes just playing around with this prompt, getting yeah all the pain points, maybe getting it to build you a few different offers um, that you can split test and then write it down and just yeah take some notes because yeah you definitely wanna use this to your advantage. So chapter four, what is the easiest way to actually build AI agents? So there's only three softwares that I'd recommend or three different routes that you should take. So number one, you have make.com. This is what I'd recommend for 90% of you watching this video right now because it's insanely be uh, beginner friendly and it's actually completely free. So you don't even need to put your card info in to start. They literally have like a free plan that you can just get started with um, and it has like an insane amount of like usage that you can use it for free. So yeah, make.com, it's uh, pretty beginner friendly. So many tutorials out there. There's even a bunch on my channel. I'll, I'm going to make a playlist if I haven't already. Um, but you can just look at my channel, see there's so many on make.com and just start building automations. That's what I would be doing is just immediately 
um, just try and build some so you have like system proof which is showing that you've at least fought through the actual fulfillment and that is um, what you need to do as a very first step. So the next one is NA10. I personally think this is more for advanced people. I have made a few tutorials on my channel but I personally would stick with make.com if you are a beginner and new to this stuff because yeah it, this is mainly for people that want more capabilities um, and it's just slightly more confusing in my opinion with the you know the whole nodes that the, it is a better but it's like it's more confusing so I would stick with make.com um, and if you're very lazy but you have a bit of capital to play with then you can use specialized tools where it's super easy to build and deploy vertical AI agents so like a point wise or um, I think there's another one called Aminos. Um, you know, ones like those are just already built essentially, but you're paying for that convenience. You're paying for the quicker implementation without you having to actually build it on the back end like you would with make.com. But I would still recommend learning make.com because it's a great skill to have up your sleeve um, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, if you're wondering how do you deploy them, that's the best part. Um, so you aren't actually operating like a SaaS. You don't need a super complex front end integrated stripe you know payment processor shit like that you are simply selling this as a high ticket ai infrastructure where you place it into their business for a setup fee that could be anywhere from two to five thousand dollars and then a monthly usage of around 500 to let's say one thousand dollars if you're starting out so that's the beautiful part is you just collect the money on the front end you build it just like you would for any other thing um and then you just yeah it's now a part of their business um because obviously you can use their make account so you can get them to sign up for make because it's free or they can just pay for it if they need to but that's like in the usage um, or you can manage it on your own make and just build it for them um, just make sure that they are paying for the uh, yeah credits and the usage for whatever ai language model you use um, but it's so much easier to plug and play because and you know it's not a SaaS as i said so you can very easily just get started with this it's like as soon as you finish watching this video, I recommend just jumping into make.com and just building a few different AI agents, whether it's customer support, whether it's um, AI lead nurturing, and just get familiar with the software and then immediately start reaching out to clients, which we'll get to right now. So how do you actually sell it to people? So, so far, we've basically done a deep dive into what they are. So you should understand that. You should understand why businesses need them. You should understand how to identify which one to sell because you can use the prompt that I've given you. Um, and you should understand the free routes that you can go basically. So make.com is easiest. Yeah, this one's a bit more advanced and this is one for lazy people that have money basically. Um, but obviously if you want to sell them after you've actually built a few, you've tested out, you've played around in make.com, stuff like that. This is where I would, um, yeah, go. So I would ask AI where your niche spends the most time. So it could be Facebook DMs. It could be, you know, it really depends on the niche. Like, for example, realtors probably spend more time on, um, I mean, I assume they spend time on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, but you'd want to ask AI where like most of the people are set up. Um, so obviously like contractors or roofing people, they would be more open to probably SMS or calling because they're not going to be sitting on Facebook all day, right? So yeah, ask AI where your niche spends the most time and then also ask it where you can find the decision maker. So that's super important. Um, just for actually getting your offer in front of them. And then what you're going to do is what we call the rule of 100. Um, Homozi made it, so yeah, credits to him. But you're going to pick one of the following and you're going to do it for 100 days. And I pretty much guarantee that if you do this for 100 days and yeah, you do the, um, if you stay consistent, remove from, you know, detach from emotion, you will have a six figure run rate business, meaning you'll earn six figures a year. Pretty much guaranteed. Like I haven't seen anyone do this and not had a six figure business. So yeah, what this could look like is you could do 100 cold DMs per day. And this is all depending on where AI tells you to uh, do it, essentially. So, yeah, it could be 100 cold DMs per day. It could be 100 cold emails per day. It could be 100 minutes of content creation per day. It could be $100 in ad spend per day. It could be 100 you know, SMS calls per day, maybe 50 calls, 50, uh, so yeah, 50 calls, 50 SMS, um, or something like that. But it obviously depends on what the output AI gives you. So, um, yeah. Detach from emotion because poverty loves inaction. Most people watching this video, like 90% will just, I don't know, go on to some entertainment BS on YouTube and then just like doom scroll for like 40 minutes to an hour. I'm not even joking. So if you can watch this, just open up make.com, build a few different AI agents today so you're familiar with it and then just immediately 
get into the rule of 100. And if you do that, you're gonna see so much more success. And the main way you're gonna learn how to build vertical air agents is by getting clients. You can even offer to set it up for them for free or you can offer a test drive for a week if you're not too confident yet, but just don't do nothing because poverty loves inaction. And right now your beliefs have gotten you to this point in your life. So if you wanna get to a new point in your life, you're gonna have to remove your beliefs, right? A snake that cannot shed its skin perishes. It's just how it works. So you deserve to be exactly where you are right now, right? But that's the story for another day. Now, Homoji's rule for marketing, some things work better than others, nothing works forever, and anything is better than nothing. So this is the key part. Anything you do to try and get clients is better than nothing. But 90% of you won't do anything. So it's so easy to win nowadays. And yeah, just sell the end results, by the way. So this is what your offer could look like because I know some people will comment being like, oh, you know, you've told us to do the rule, rule of 100. Like you kind of understand everything, but what do you actually say when you reach out to people? I would say something like this. We partner with your niche, could be accountants, lawyers, you know, it could be coaches, whoever but we partner with accountants to grow their firm's profits by 14% using AI. We ask for nothing until you see real results. It's simple, it's concise, it's sweet, and it's also powerful. So that is the one sentence offer that you should roughly go for. You can include AI here. Some people hate it, some people love it. It's a bit like putting a spider into a room. Some people will absolutely be terrified and have a panic attack. Some people will love the spider. Um, and that's what like this is, right? Some people hate AI, some people love it, but the more people you put it in front of, the more likely you are to find someone that absolutely loves it and who resonates and who will be most aware, which is what we talked about right here. So that is that. Um, now, like and subscribe, comment what videos you want next, comment what tutorials you want next. Um, Cause obviously I read all the comments and I love the feedback on this uh, yeah channel. So go for it. And obviously if you want just the best software to sell out of the box so you can plug and play it into business owners, um, yeah, we've got a community and we've got Go High Level that we give you for free and we actually have automation snapshots inside of that account that you can just sell um, pretty easily and obviously hundreds of members have seen success with it. So it's, yeah, it's proven, it's battle tested. You know, we've had people sell AI agents for $10,000, $9,000, um, some very high ticket stuff. So yeah, you could join, sell it for 1K if you're starting out and see success, but that will be the first link in the description. Um, there's so many people in the community. We obviously we're five star red on Trustpilot. Very, very good product. Um, but nonetheless, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video was to help you um, for free. So if you enjoyed, yeah, just subscribe. That's all I really ask for. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy and have an amazing day.